Hey fellow power botters, this is a setup tutorial guide for your money making guide of Lily's Queen Black Dragon Killer. Brand new script just released about five days ago from today's date on the 20th. And you know, today's my first day of actually trying it out. And normally I'm on the account that I've never bought it on, but just for the sole purpose of this video, um, I will be uh, showing you just a simple uh, setup tutorial guide for those who have maxed accounts. Not really with 99 summoning, I only have 95 on this account, but um, pretty max, straightforward, uh, 99 everything, herb lore, really great bonus, 99 prayer, turmoil, everything like that. Um, hiding out my username for security reasons as you might know but um the basic setup for attacking you will this is for the range setup um there is she does have or he i'm not 100 percent sure have um some requirements you know you do need 50 agility 60 summoning and the completion of uh songs of the depths um and it's advised to have uh 85 herb lore um 67 summoning, I think it is, for the Beast of Burden of a uh, War Tortoise, I believe. And, you know, uh, 92, I think it changed 92 Prayer for Soul Split. I believe that's what it was. Yeah, 92. So, um, the best uh, armor, I'd say, is Full Void. And I have Full Void here. As you can see, I have my Royal Crossbow, which I literally just got today. I also have Glavian Boots, which are expensive. They're about 16 mil. And I got my Sarah Dolman Murmur, which is gives you critical strike and all that stuff. I'll do a quick price check just for you, guys, so you guys know how much I'm spending on this gear and that. So it's about 20 mil in total. So basically, for your range setup, you want your piercing shot for number one, your snapshot for number two, a snipe for number three, your dead shot for number four, your fragmentation shot for number five. Then your escape for number six, your ricochet from number seven, your incendiary shot for number eight, your food for number nine. I'm using rock tails. Um, I'm not sure how this got here, but I'm pretty sure the bot put that there. And then have your home teleport as a either zero or the other one because it will need it in case you do die. Because um, sometimes you know the bot doesn't eat food fast enough, but it's okay. So. Um, pretty simple, uh, setup I have in my bank, um, I have my accumulators, those help for keeping your crossbow bolts. Uh, you will need Falador, Falador teleport tabs, a must have. Uh, you will need prayer potions, I advise using prayer potions for. Don't waste your money on making prayer renewals or super prayer potions or anything like that. So waste, or flasks, use prayer potions for. It, that's pretty slow, it uses about four to five a run depending on your combat stats, so I can do normally use three to four per run. Um, also have super anti-fires, you know, they are amazing, they do help. I do have some flasks left over, but um, I'd suggest making super anti-fire for those who can use it. I do uh, suggest also having extreme ranging and defense for the defense bonus and the range bonus. I mean, I don't have 99 range, I have 89 on this account, but um, it does help a lot. You know, you can use overloads too, but it just takes away health and it's just crap. Um, the bot, uh, the, uh, the thread does say have a lot of rock tails. I do have, I bought 4K and I've run this bot for maybe 3 hours now and I've gone through 600. So, you know, that's about 200 per hour. So, yeah. Um, I'm using war tortoises because I can use them. And that's it. So pretty much have all your potions that you'll be using. Any dose, because the bot does uh, take the least amount of doses per thing and yeah so pretty much that's the basic setup you need you know it doesn't matter what order it is and the bot will find everything make sure you have it all in one tab because it does help and then you can see in three hours this is my loot tab I did get a dragonic visage I just got an ancient evergy from the previous run I just stopped on I got the uh, dragon bone upgrade kit um, and I just like I've sold the runes I had because I wasn't sure how much I've got um, I've made 800k in cash, and these are just all like the magic seeds, the royal sites. These are the items that you need to make your royal crossbow. And the bot does support um, creating the royal crossbow because it, I didn't have one, so I had to buy all the parts, and I ended up spending a little more money than uh, I expect wanted to to get the bow. But whatever. 
So I'll show you how I set it up. I will click run here, scroll up to where it is, literally QBD beta, great bot, must say. Here's the guide. Um, so basically you select your food that you're using, your beast of burden, I use the war tortoise, and you're using major range, but normally it's just range. So here I use quick prayer, make sure you have your uh, quick prayer selected already. I use five, that's about it. And it doesn't matter, I use extreme ranging, extreme defense, super anti-fire potion, supports both. And then here, if you're if you're making your coil crossbow the first time, use that. If you're not, just click on that and you'll be good. And now I'm going to turn off my uh, thing. And now it's going to find everything it needs. Um, it should... Oh, there. It locks these skills. Puts the rock tail, your food, in the thing. Uh, if you don't have a beast of burden, it'll summon it itself. So now it deposits everything in your bank. And then it's going to... Um, calculate your bank value just so it knows the um, GP an hour that you make so here you go having the uh, your beast of burden out in case you haven't summoned it and now it'll fill it up with your food go we'll back to the bank grab a teleport tab grab your potions Let's see it grabs the lowest one extreme defense extreme ranging one one dose all that's all it takes an anti fire it does take the uh, most amount of flasks from the thing and then it fills the rest of your inventory with uh, food so now it should click on your home teleport make sure you have the port or jarm whatever the low stone is called unlocked before starting the spot otherwise it will not load um, I had to do that myself I believe um, so now it's gonna teleport and it's gonna start running to the bot place wherever you wanna call it And now it will go inside after renewing your summoning points if you are using the Beast of Burden, but I suggest you do use one. And I'll run down here. Plus the other botters and the gold farming sites, killing those ugly beasts. You'll see, just when it enters this uh, crevice here, you'll see all the botters, all the Asian gold farmers. Um, and there's one. There's another, and it's a whole lot more. And there's someone else doing QBD as well. So I suggest using the uh, accumulator, by the way, as it will keep your bolts. And I'll spawn you inside here. It'll drink your potions, turn your quick prayers on. The beast will be summoned. And it will start attacking it as soon as it reads it. This is normal. As it screens up. There it goes. And it does take time, you know, to kill it, depending on your stats. Soul Split is advised as you can heal yourself. And it's very, very easy to die here, as I've actually died once. Um, because I stopped the bot by accident, trying to fix something up. And I accidentally got myself killed. So don't turn off the bot while you're in here. Otherwise, you'll, uh, get yourself killed. So... There's the first wave of the uh, QBD killed. Pretty simple. Well, second. And then it's going to activate the artifact as soon as it can. Spam clicking it. There you go. And then it's going to attack again. Use an ultimate spec. Doesn't do much damage. And it now starts running around. I mean, uh, the bot does not support these firewalls coming in. As you can see, it will not run to the open crevices. It will take the 750 damage. But hopefully, if you do have soul split like myself, you will be able to survive the hit. Pretty simple, right? That's what I thought. So, um, let's carry on hitting it. And I might as well just film this whole thing, as this will be a long guide, anyways, you know. I don't know what to say. So keep an eye on your prayer. The bot will um, restore it, as you can see right there. It did. So it'll run away from these minions attacking you and all that nonsense. And carry on attacking it and attacking these things that are attacking you. Um, I advise if you guys are going to use chaotic crossbows, the dual ones. I haven't tested those as, they, as I do not have them. I don't really plan on getting them because Royal Crossbow works 
just as well as the dual crossbows were. But if you were to use them, um, you can always send me a message and I can eventually get them. I'll have to uh, do some serious engineering on this account. I mean, I've done it already before Evolution of Combat came out, but yeah. So there's a the second wave done. It's going to go activate the artifact number two. And then the third wave will spawn and heal. And this is where things start getting a little tricky if you're low combat or don't have turmoil or high prayer and high stats and all those bonuses, right? But, um, you know, carry on killing it. As you can see, I'm doing pretty fair this game. Um, just gotta keep killing it. You see, three fire waves at 750 damage each, but luckily. I dodged some. See now prayer is running low. It should restore prayer right there. And now it's going to attack it again. It's doing some serious damage here. This is actually surprising. This is one of the really fast runs. My lord, am I hitting high. Oh my god, that crit. See the Sarah Domin's Murmur has a 9%, I think it's a 9% crit add-on or bonus. So that, you know, and I never really noticed much of it. So here it's gonna activate the fourth and final, or the third and final one after this wave. And restore prayer. And now it's gonna start attacking the queen again. And attacking the souls. Just so they stop healing. I believe they heal the uh, queen black dragon, I'm not sure. But, um. Here's another crit going off. And. Yep. Well, carry on going. Um, if you guys are having troubles with your bots, you know, send me a message. I will be glad to help. Um, I will put my profile link in the description below. Um, I'm sure most of you know me. Sponsor, Skippa, all that. You know, I own one of the top questing services on this website, along with Charlie Sheen's questing service. Great competitor, and all that. Um, also a complete hater of Win Awesome, just saying. So now it's killed the Queen Black Dragon, it'll activate the fourth and final artifact, final one, give you your uh, experience um, bonuses, everything's dead, it'll turn off your uh, quick prayers, go down into the reward area, and anti-ban into your Dragon King coffer or you'll get your loot, and you know, it's not that good of a loot this run, but now it'll teleport out, and run back to the bank, deposit everything in your bank, and re, re uh, redo what I just did, so, uh, yeah, anyways, you guys, that's a pretty long setup guide for this new bot, just want to thank you, Liliana, or Lilies, whatever you want to be called, I apologize, um, great work making this bot, and I will be glad to help you. anybody that requires help. Um, just feel free to add me. Uh, just check my profile. You'll find my Skype and my MSN there. I'm glad to help. Uh, other than that, I'm not really sure what else you do. Uh, as you can see, the bot's resetting itself up for the next run. Getting all the potions. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. You know, this is not really an important YouTube channel. So uh, just give us a shout out to anybody that wants to shout out and then I'll make another bot setup guide for anybody and yeah thanks for watching good luck guys